This is CCCC's hub for welding the rails for the East Coast Rail Link and producing the concrete sleepers on which those rails will sit. The plant here can produce 2,700 sleepers a day, as well as welding 25 meter long rails from China into continuous 500 meter long lengths. Using the latest equipment, CCCC is laying up to two kilometers of track per day, at least three times faster than conventional methods. It uses uh, advanced automation, uh, improved logistic, and uh, enhanced construction technologies, coupled with precision engineering. The 665 km rail line will link Malaysia's big west coast ports and capital to a joint venture China-Malaysia port and industrial park, towns and cities on the east coast. It entails the construction of dozens of bridges and tunnels, including the longest tunnel in Southeast Asia. Despite the project having been cancelled, then revived, all the complications of the pandemic and the geological and climatic challenges, the construction of the East Coast Rail Link remains a bit ahead of schedule. The East Coast is the least developed region of Peninsula Malaysia, and economic opportunities are scarce. This project has definitely created more job opportunities very fast. In the past, I had to go to Kuala Lumpur for work. Now I'm able to return and work close to my hometown. It's a huge project that has created many jobs and economic opportunities for local people and local businesses. The aim of the ECRL is not only to transport people and freight between Malaysia's populated west and underdeveloped east, but to draw investment and spur growth along the entire rail corridor. Ryan Meltzer, CGTN, Pahang, Malaysia.